Under Rule 10b-5 of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, otherwise known as the Exchange Act, it's unlawful for a person or entity to make an untrue statement of material fact in connection with the sale or purchase of securities. In the 2011 case Janus Capital Group v. First Derivative Traders, the United States Supreme Court considered whether a mutual fund advisor could be liable under Rule 10b-5 for materially false statements in its client's prospectus. Janus Capital Group Incorporated, who we'll call JCG, is a publicly traded asset management company based in New York. Janus Capital Management LLC, which we'll call JCM, is a wholly owned subsidiary of JCG. In addition, JCG created the Janus Investment Fund, which we'll call JIF, a family of mutual funds. Further, JCM provided investment advisory services to JIF. And although all JCM's officers were officers of JIF, the two had separate legal identities. As required by federal securities laws, JIF issued prospectuses to its investors describing the investment strategy and operations of its mutual funds. The prospectuses stated the funds weren't suitable for market timing, which is a type of investment practice that involves making decisions to buy or sell stocks by predicting future market price fluctuations. Additionally, the prospectus implied that JCM would restrict using market timing as an investment practice. In September of 2003, New York's Attorney General filed a complaint against JCG and JCM, alleging that JCG had made secret arrangements to allow market timing for several of the funds managed by JCM. As a result, many investors withdrew money from JIF's mutual funds. And because JIF compensated JCM based on the total value of the funds, and JCM's management fees made up a large percentage of JCG's income, JCG's stock price dropped nearly 25%. Subsequently, First Derivative Traders, who represented JCG stockholders, sued JCG and JCM in federal district court under Rule 10b-5 of the Exchange Act. Specifically, First Derivative alleged that JCG and JCM violated Rule 10b-5 by causing JIF's mutual fund prospectuses to be issued with materially misleading statements. In response, JCG and JCM moved to dismiss for failure to state a claim, which the court granted. First Derivative appealed to the Fourth Circuit, which reversed, holding that, by participating in the writing and dissemination of the prospectuses, JCG and JCM effectively made the misleading statements. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.